Hi everyone, Leanne here, and I'm going to try and make a card online, which is something new for me, I don't know. So anyway, um, I'm using the new set um, Irish Gnomies from Jaded Blossom. It has this adorable little gnome guy. I'll be using a sentiment from this set too. Um, I'm also using um, the, mushroom, the mushroom dye set. Um, I'm going to be using this green grass dye. Um, I'm using the uh, stitched and scalloped square dies. Sorry about that. The stitched and scalloped square dies. Um, there you go, stitched and scalloped square dies. I'll be using the cloud stencil too, which is a new one and it's super cool. Anyways, uh, to start with, I'm going to be using um, paper tray ink white cardstock and I'm just going to be making a quick card base. So I'm making basically a square A2, so you know, 4.25 by 4.25. So I'm just scoring it with my bone folder here. And I've been loving my Teflon bone folder for this kind of stuff lately. Okay, so there's my card base. I pre-colored my gnome using Copic markers and also the shamrock from the same set. Um, I'll be doing both of those. Um, I'll be listing both the colors on my actual blog post. Anyway, so I first cut my first layer of um, doodlebug paper with the scalloped square dies from Jada Blossom. And I'm just applying some glue on the back. We're going to line this all up. And basically that's going to be my first layer. There we go. Um, next on my list is I'm going to be inking up this. I cut another square. Um, well, first of all, I cut two squares, I guess. One in white cardstock, and I cut a second square with the uh, um, with this uh, matching green pattern paper from Doodlebug, and I applied the green grass border from the mushroom dies uh, to the top of it, just so I could have. Um, you know, lined up square, matching square base basically, just so it looks all neat and tidy. So I'm just gonna ink the edges of that to make it nice. I'm just using some green ink. So I'm just gonna ink up the edges. I'm actually, it doesn't really matter what ink you use. This is actually an old color from close to my heart called uh, pear ink. But any green ink that matches your green grass will do. I'm also using, like I said, I'll be doing a little bit of inking on my background here with the new cloud dyes, which are super cool. So I'm using a tumble glass distress ink and um, one of these blender brushes. I think they're from Tailored Expressions. They're super cool. So basically all I'm doing is I'm going to be inking this up and uh, giving this a nice cool ink background. I'm using like a... Um, a circle masking die, I guess you would call it, from um, Tailored Expressions. But what's great about it is, is you could use them with your new dies from Jaded Blossom. And it's just super cute. Like a, you get like a, a super neat look making a background. It also gives a really cool edge. Now you could do the same thing if you were to cut yourself out some, um, like use, use some acetate or even a piece of cardstock and cut yourself out uh, using a circle die from Jaded Blossom, that would also work. But anyways, I'm just doing a little bit of ink blending here. And it's a little bluer than normal, but I kind of want to make a really defined edge because it just gives it a kind of a neat look. So anyways, that's done. So I'm just going to pull it off and see, look how cool that looks. Okay, so basically all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to line up my neat grass that I cut out using the Jaded Blossom mushroom dies and I'm just lining it up on my card base here and uh, I'm just lining it up on my card base here I'm repeating myself okay and then I'm gonna line it up on my card base which is kind of fun and fast I've taken to kind of using more glue in my card designs lately instead of using um, ATG tape. So anyways, I'm just going to do a quick, get this lined up in the center. 
There we go. There, that looks good. I don't know about you, but I've been having increasingly more difficulty lining things up straight with my old age. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, so now I'm bringing in my Misty and I'm going to be stamping um, my sentiment from that same gnome set. I'm going to be using I'm Lucky and I Gnome It because it's too darn cute. So I'm using my Misty because how do you live without one of these things? I don't know. So I'm just going to get this in here, pop it in the corner, use some magnets so I don't have use some magnets so I don't have any mess ups. And I'm using VersaFine Clear ink, black ink. You can use any black ink, but I tend to like the VersaFine ones for use for sentiments because you know, just a lot sharper. So basically I'm just inking that up. And I'm gonna carefully oh look at that. I don't have it lined up where I want it. That would have been a disaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix this up. So anyway, I'm just going to grab myself something to stamp it on, something to fix my project here so I don't wreck things. So I'm just going to try and get it roughly in the spot I want it, sort of up in this corner. Normally I would have grabbed some acetate, but I didn't want to leave my spot and mess up this little new video that I'm doing. So anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to ink it up again, and we'll pretend that I didn't mess that up. Okay, here we go. So now I'm just going to stamp it down. Usually I use a sleeve, but I've got a t-shirt on right now, so I can't do that. So anyway, there we go. So let's hope it, let's hope it looks nice. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. So we'll take that out. So the stamping's done. And it's looking pretty cute so far. So now, I'm trying to decide if I might want to add a little bit of ribbon. We might, just for the heck of it, eh? So anyway, I don't know, we will see. My plan is, is I'm gonna pop my little Nomi up here in the center with a little, with my little shamrock. Okay, sounds good. So, I tend to do a little cheating when it comes to doing bow tying here. So I'm just gonna get my ribbon in the spot that I want it to be, roughly. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? what happens when you don't completely plan out what your plan is. There we go. So I'm just going to add my ribbon in this spot. I just kind of picked a matching green ribbon. I believe this is actually American Crafts ribbon. So I'm just going to apply my ribbon, get it somewhat in the center with a glue dot, eh, get on there. Somewhat with a glue dot in the center. There we go. Now this is my first attempt at a video, so be kind. Usually I'm up and down when I make cards. I don't sit in one spot, so I'm sort of up and down, up and down, changing my mind a million times. So this is kind of a novel experience for me. Usually if I didn't like the way something was going, I'd be hopping up and changing things on the fly, but that's not gonna happen today. So all I'm using now is I'm gonna pop this little gnome guy up with some um, foam adhesive, which is lots of fun. I use these in all my cards just because it gives a nice pop and it kind of lifts things up, which I like. So we're going to pop this guy up, which is kind of fun. And we're going to pop up this little shamrock too. These are from, um, these little mini adhesives are from, I think, Stampin' Up. Which is kind of 
fun. I kind of own, own the company when it comes to these little foam squares because I use them all the time. You just can't help yourself, they're adorable. So I'm just gonna add my little, my little shamrock there. Now, uh, anyone that knows me knows that uh, I can't tie a bow to save my life. So I always use a bow easy because you know, I'm just not very good at it. And I admit it, and when anyone asks me online, how do you get your bows looking so nice? I always say, get yourself a bow easy because I just can't do it without it. But they're super easy and they make your bows look so beautiful. There we go, let me just get that little layer out of there. There we go. Eh. There we go. There we are. So now I've got a cute little bow. And that's super fun. I'm just going to trim off the ends. There we go. And I'm going to add it. Now the biggest trick with putting a bow on your project, if you don't want people to know you've done a, if you cheated a little bit, is you kind of got to you kind of got to gather the ribbon underneath the bow to make it look like it's been tied. Otherwise, people are gonna guess that you really didn't tie it, and that would be terrible. You want it to look like it's been tied. Got to be sneaky. Got to be a little bit sneaky. There we go. There we are. Got to be a little bit sneaky here. So we're going to put it, make sure the back is nice and tight. And then now I'm going to add my little bow. Ooh. With a glue dot, if I can get it off my finger. There we go. There we are. There we are. How cute is that? Now I'm loving these little gnome images. They're too darn adorable. I can't get enough of them. I also can't get enough of my Nuvo Crystal Drops, so I'm gonna add some Nuvo Crystal Drops because, you know, I just can't stop using them. And you can tell by almost every card I make, I use Nuvo Crystal Drops. They're just so awesome. And they work awesome. So basically, people always say, Leanne, how do you get your dots exactly perfect every time? Well. As long as your Nuvo Crystal Drops are warmed up, they, they work pretty well. My big thing is though, is I tend to cover my mistakes with my dots. So people are like, how did you choose the placement? Well, it's because that's where the boo-boos are. I always cover my boo-boos with the Nuvo Crystal Drops or, you know, sequins or what have you. But anyway, that's it. So a quick little card from Jada Blossom. Loving their new, their new release and all their new products. That's it. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.